For 10,000 years, the forces of the fallen Warmaster have continued their long war to conquer Holy Terra and destroy the Empire of Humanity. Today, the Golden Host, known since the Age of Heresy as the 10,000, stand against the forces of the Dark Gods in this new Codex battle. Nick's Talons of the Emperor take on Tycho and the new Chaos Soulforge War Pact in this battle of the few versus the many. Whose fanatical devotion will prove superior, the Custodes or Chaos? This is 40k in 40 minutes. Chaos vs. Custodes, new codex battle. Greetings 40k fans and welcome to this epic offering of two armies with unwavering ideologies. Your host JT The Voice here and what a slobber knocker this promises to be. <laughs> I am Tycho, the child of chaos, and I get to play with the new Chaos Codex today. This book is full of amazing stuff, and I am going to play the Soul Forge War Pack, Vastor himself. It's going to be epic. And I get to play Nick today. It's come to my attention that recent comments on our videos have said that I'm too energetic. But I'm here to play Custodes, and I'm going to have a lot of fun. They have a new codex. A lot of people feel like it's not as strong as it needs to be, but you know what? I don't care. This army is made up of heroes. Heroes! Nick is playing the Talons of the Emperor today. Nick has a Blade Champion with the Radiant Mantle, a Shield Captain in Alaris Terminator armor with the Aegis Projector, and Trajan Valoris himself. He's got a squad of Custodian Guard with Shield and Sword, a Custodian Guard squad with Spears, one Anathema Psyker Rhino, Two Alaris Custodians with Guardian Spears. Two Caladius Grav Tanks with Arachnus Heavy Blaze Cannons. A Contemptor Achilles Dreadnought. A Contemptor Galatus Dreadnought. Four Prosecutors. Ten Vigilators. And four Witch Seekers. Those Grav Tanks can absolutely destroy Tycho's armor. However, don't sleep on the Custodian Guard. He has got a bunch of custodians that can get in close and tear apart anything that they hit. Each one of those squads has got a leader that can do some serious damage. Tycho's brought a very vehicle heavy list. I've got some nasty new strategies to break on, Nick. Tycho's Soulforge War Pack consists of a Chaos Lord, Vashtor the Archiphane, and a Warpsmith with a new enhancement, Tempting Addendum. That's gonna make his dark packs a little more dangerous, but far, far more effective. He's got a squad of cultists, a squad of legionnaires, a chaos land raider, that is the Tears of Tack land raider, a forge fiend, a lord of skulls, a mauler fiend, a squad of possessed, three, count them, three venom crawlers, all ready to tear Nick apart. The venom crawler's output is absolutely fantastic. That said, that Lord of Skulls is brutally effective at chewing through absolutely anything. If he closes into combat, flat eight with its weapon is disgusting. That said, the Gore Storm Cannon and Skull Hurler can deal out a ton of damage at a distance. This is gonna be a blast, I can't wait, let's get to it for chaos. The players have opted for as simple a mission as possible today. Long table edge deployment, staring at each other across it, each objective worth five points, to a maximum of 15 per turn and 50 for the game, and chilling rain, no special mission secondary rules. Today's episode is brought to you by our friends at Deadly Print Studios. You know, the folks at Deadly Print Studios have almost a decade of experience working in the film and TV industry, blending traditional 2D and 3D effects on such projects as Game of Thrones and Jurassic World. And they've taken that expertise and combined it with their love and passion for war games. From muzzle flashes to explosions, psychic and void shields to spent ammo casings and bullet deflections, Deadly Print has what you need to add that touch of immersion to your battlefields. Fully tested and supported, they have STLs for almost any battle effect you can imagine, or if you prefer, you can order them pre-printed and shipped directly to you. We absolutely love the extra added effects provided by Deadly Print Studios. You can see them not only in our studio armies, but our personal armies as well. Make sure to check out the link in the description below for all your battle effects needs. Now, back to the action! <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 All right, we are here to play the new Chaos Codex against a still pretty new Custodian Codex. Mine's better than yours. Well, I guess we're gonna find oh, out. God. If we ask the internet, I know exactly what they would say. I'm here to prove them wrong, though. Let's get to it. Who is gonna deploy first here? I'm using the dark dice. Oh yeah, I rolled a one too. Yeah. Oh, play on! I rolled hey. a one! 
ones. Could you deploy your first model, please? So to be clear, these are supposed to be decorative. Craters are mostly decorative, aside from infantry. Here's something we don't see very often, folks. Nick is actually choosing fixed objectives this game. With all the vehicles Tycho has, Bring It Down makes a ton of sense, and he's chosen Storm Hostile. You gotta hold objectives to win, and Nick's gonna score points by kicking Tycho off them. So I'm gonna have to be a bit aggressive with how I deploy. Chaos cultists doing chaos cultist things. They're gonna be hiding back here. They get to stick your objective, don't they? They do. They have Brave Nick. Leader of my cultist is named after you. I don't want to kill myself. I'm going to start with a unit of prosecutors. Bolter Arm Sisters. I don't want him getting some lucky first shots with some of his strong shooting. Possessed over here. Big giant grav tank. A warpsmith. I think I might just put down the other one. A venom crawler. Dreadnought, if you say it like that. This is the spear armed one. Muller fiend. Alaris Terminator Guard. The Lord of Skulls. Witch Seekers. That is where Mr. Land Raiders is going to go. All my Mark of Nurgle Legionnaires and Lord of Chaos are riding in my Land Raider. I'm going to put my other Dreadnought right there. He's got a sword and shield. Forge Fiend! The Rhino! I've got a whole unit of 10 Vigilators inside this Rhino. Vashtor! The Blade Champion and his unit of Custodian Guard are going to go back here. Venom Crawler. This is Trajan and his unit of Spear Arm Custodian Guard. I'm deployed. You've got one more Venom Crawler to decide where it goes. Now, do you want to go first or second? I, I kind of want you to go first, so I can go second and shoot you. Probably want to go second. If I go second, I can hope that Nick pokes his tank's nose out just, just a little bit, so I might be able to get some shots off early. Hey, you're going first! Have a good game, sir. Good luck. <laughs> Looks like Tycho's gonna be going first. He's pulled Cleanse and Secure No Man's Land. These are possible. And he's giving his Land Raider the Warpsmith buff. Normally it would heal him, but more importantly, it's gonna give him plus one to hit. Turn one, I'm going first. That's not good. I'm gonna go out and get some objectives and get this game rolling. I'm gonna run pell-mell towards the objectives and try and score, score, score. I'm gonna start by advancing my possessed towards that objective over there. Oof, just enough. His Legionnaires and Cultists are swapping places. Legionnaires bail out and the Cultists sticky that objective in the command phase, so they jump back into the Land Raider. And he's gonna start cleansing. He's gonna cleanse too. being a little bit cagey with some of my bigger stuff because I'm a bit afraid of Nick's tanks. He's moved up, but Nick is hidden pretty well here. Not a lot of shooting phase here for Tycho. He's cleansed and he's secured no man's land. That's a massive 10 points on secondary for Tycho in the first turn. And the end of Tycho's turn, however, Nick is using from on golden light and his Alaris Terminators are gonna head off the board and into strategic reserve. My Terminators have gone into deep strength. That means I'm gonna bring him in a future turn. I think that's gonna be key because it means that Tycho can't just willy nilly leave his home objective. Both players tick up to two command points. Nick has popped the Vigilators to charge at the Possessed. I think that's a bit of a lopsided fight. Blade Champion and Custodians with Sword and Board will advance forward. Nick's probably looking to advance and charge with their once per game ability. Witch Seekers move up. 
Nick is really relying on his tanks to take out Tycho's vehicles here, and that's what he's lining the shots up for. So they're in six inches of him to give them bonuses. Shooting phase! Let's do some fun. This tank right here is gonna target everything into this Mauler Fiend. Four shots with his giant, giant blaze cannon. Oh wow, the Caladius has downed that Mauler Fiend. Let's go on to this tank, who's gonna fire at the Land Raider. Smoke! Tycho's spending a command point on smoke launchers. That's gonna give the Land Raider cover and minus one to hit. He's down to one command point. That means a minus one to hit, so I'm gonna roll hitting him threes. Four shots, here we go! One of them is lethal, so I'm now wounding you on fours. But twin linked, I got one wound. Twin linked to the other one. Oh, just two wounds. With a cover, so your minus three goes to minus two, I'm saving on four. There's one. Saves. There's hey. another, my Land Raider's okay. Some bolter shots. Nothing. Dreadnought. It's going to fire his melta spear and his flamer into this venom crawler ahead of him. One shot from the dread spear, and that's a hit. It is strength nine. It's not a wound. Double flamers. I uh, got three shots. Whiff in there, bad. But I did wound you once. You got me once. At minus one. <gasps> so I take a wound. Down to eight. Moving on to the charge phase. This is important. I got to get them all here. I get a free reroll with the Blade Champion. I'm going to do the Sisters of Silence first here. What? Nick having to spend a command reroll to get the Vigilators to reach the Possessed, and they are in. The Blade Champion squad is also in. Okay, eight. Ba Boom! Oh, oh, it's so close! That is the charge phase, so let's move on to the fight phase. I kind of want to go with the sisters first, just because it's fun. Vigilators slap some possessed around, but the Blade Champion and friends are doing all the work. Oh, oh wow, they have wiped that unit. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs, that was unexpected. So I might as well consolidate so everyone's on the objective. And I've got a couple guys on the cover now to give myself cover. Nick has scored three points for Bring It Down and four for Storm Hostile. Both players have a command point, but Tycho has the lead 10 points to seven. Let's do the things. 10 points on primary for Tycho, and he's drawn extend battle lines and Storm Hostile objective. Storming hostiles actually be really hard. Tycho spends his newly minted command point on turning his Land Raider into a demon engine. Oh boy, this is where it gets all the bonuses. This could be big. My Warpsmith is going to pat the Venom Crawler on the head, fix him right up, give him plus one to hit. He's not really the plus one to hit target I really want to put it on, but he was wounded. All right, over here though. Lord of Skulls rolls up the table. I've got my tail hidden a little bit so I get some cover. I think that I'm gonna be a little bit cagey here. Pull back a little bit, bunch up around my fantastic buffer, my Warpsmith. Most of Tycho's other units have fallen back into a defensive posture around that Warpsmith. I wonder if he's really trying to take advantage of tempting addendum. This could be interesting. I'm gonna get all sorts of buffs and things. It's gonna be grand. That looks to be a movement phase. Nick rapid ingresses his Alaris back into the fray. I'm trying to be exactly nine inches away, but you can't shoot me. I'm gonna go all in on the Dreadnought and the Terminators trying to kill the Lord of Skulls. Let's see what we can do. Shooting phase now, and here we go. So we're gonna start with the Lord of Skulls, and he is gonna go and do a Dark Pact. Oh, he's got minus one leadership. Has a leadership of six. He makes it on the seven. That's gonna give him sustained hits on all of his big, shiny gore cannons and skull flingers. Until further notice, if I am doing a Dark Pact, it's for sustain. I'll let you know if it's for lethal, but very rarely will it be. Lord of Skulls into the Contemptor Achilles. And he's gone. Wow, what did I tell you, folks? That Lord of Skulls is no joke. Land Raider opening up into three, count them, three different targets. We're gonna fire all the laser cannons into your tank. We're gonna fire the heavy boulder into your custodian guards. We're gonna fire the storm boulder and the havoc launcher at your sisters back there. Nick's using Shield of Honor here to redirect the shots that are heading into those sisters into the custodian guards that are minus one to hit, thanks to their radiant mantle. Here comes the storm boulder into your custodian guard. I'm just dark packing. I'll make my dark pact a little separate. 
Seven, he's okay. One miss with a sustain, coming back in. Hit four times, so normally fives, but down to four, because I'm soul forged. Oh, baby, four wounds. I needed those sixes later. No ones. No ones. No. Same all. Here comes the heavy bolter. Twin linked into your same unit. Yep. Twin linked. And three wounds, a minus one. Taking the guys in cover, so I still get two. Two damage. Two damage on the custodian guard in cover back here. So he's down to two wounds remaining. The soul shatter last cannons. Soul shatter cannons now go into the Caladius. Three wounds. Nick fails two saves and down it goes. Oh, look at that. It's a boom. The forge feed. All guns at the custodian guard. That's my one command point. Desperate pledge for one command point to get an extra point of armor penetration is amazing against two up armor. Plus he's gonna get plus one strength because he's near Vashdor. Plus he's gonna get re-rolled a hit because he's near the Wolfsmith. So here comes his leader, is a uh, packed eight, I'm okay. Gonna give himself a further possibility to hurt himself by making all of his weapons hazardous. How many buffs can I stack on one model? Starting with his Hades auto cannons. <laughs> Flat reroll, it's nice. Oh, look at that, he only missed once this time. Oh, oh what's this? I see some sixes. That's 17 hits on a dozen shots. But he's near Vashdor, so it's strength nine. Normally I'd be wounding you on threes, but Soul Forge pack, plus one to wound, wounding you on twos. This is insane. Oh, devastating on sixes. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Soul Forge pack goodness. That Forge Fiend just leveled that custodian unit. I don't even get to shoot my plasma gun, Nick. Because of the devastating, I do have to take hazardous tests. Even the plasma, which I didn't get to shoot. He's fine. This Venom Crawler over here, you can only really see your custodian guard here, I believe. He's only within Vashtor's aura. He's gonna do a dark pact. He loves it on a nine. His dark pact is excellent. Here he comes with two excruciator cannons, hitting on threes. Down to twos because of Soul Fork pack. Seven at minus one. Twos! Two ones. Two damage apiece. Really? Yeah. Oh, this sucks. I killed another custodian. Ah! I think my legionaries, only two of them can see it. Two bolters at long range. I've got an icon in this, so I'll dark pact. Eight, they're fine. Four hits. Up to three, winning on threes. Wow. Wow. Same all. Now, Velen Crawler number two. Fire everything he's got into your sisters here. Dark pact. That's a seven, he's okay. Here we go. Reroll into hit. And twos. 12 wounds. One is one. I got a bunch of cover, so on threes. I fail one, two, three. This Venom Grawler firing at these four sisters with flamethrowers. Gotta get rid of them while I can. Rerolling. Twos. Eight. Chaos forever. Oh, you killed them all. Man, oh man, tempting addendum on that Warpsmith is super strong. I am concerned that he has surrounded the Warpsmith with all those vehicles though. If they start to explode, he could lose the Warpsmith without ever having a shot fired at him. I don't have no charges. Tycho has scored extend battle lines and discarded Storm Hostile for a command point. However, he scored 10 on primary, takes him to 25 points to Nick seven. My turn. Start of next turn now, and he has scored 10 points on primary to take him up to 17. Tycho has two command points to next one. We're gonna move up with these guys. It looks like Tinkerbell the Venom Crawler, overwatching Trajan Squad, fails the Dark Pack, takes two mortals, and Nick saves the wounds it does. That Dreadnought is bearing down on the Lord of Skulls. The remaining Vigilators have moved up to charge the Venom Crawler. Again, that doesn't seem like a fight they can win. Move phase done. Right. Let's go to the shooting phase. I'm gonna start with the Rhino. It's gonna fire into this Venom Crawler. Okay. Oh no, Fido the Venom Crawler gets hit with a Hunter Killer Missile. Nick spends a command point to reroll and it wounds. No save and six damage. That was amazing, I needed that. I got the Flamer shots here. D6 flavor shots for the Dreadnought. Oh, I got two shots. It wounds you, nothing. Because I'm toughness 13, Nick. 13! The big tank. Yeah. I need to do at least some damage okay. for my strategy to work. So you have to be damaged for me to get uh, extra bonuses against you. 
four shots with his giant blaze cannon, hitting on twos. The Gladius has managed to hurt the Lord of Skulls. Tycho spending a command point to reroll a saving throw. No joy. That brings me to 19 wounds remaining, Nick. Only 19 wounds. One of my trimmers can see the Lord of Skulls, so he's gonna fire away. Two shots from his ax. Hits once. Because you are a character monster or vehicle, I can reroll the wound goal. Doesn't wound. Then his grenades. He gets five shots and hits you all of them. Sixes, don't get any sixes, but you're a vehicle, so I can reroll. No sixes. These three custodian guard into... Spike, the Venom Crawler now getting shot, and he's taken six wounds off him. It's down to three. I need to sink home all these charges. What I'm really worried about is the sisters. Can you make it in? Charge phase now, and this is big. The Vigilators have reached the Venom Crawler. Trajan's squad makes it to the other two Venom Crawlers. Oh no. The Alaris succeed their charge of the Lord of Skulls. Oh, Dreadnought, go! Four, five, six, he makes it in. Oh, wow, the Vigilator starts off and down goes Fido. He explodes six, and does five. a bunch of mortal wounds. Explosion! Tycho's killing a bunch of stuff with the explosion, but mostly his own. This is great. It's Trajan Squad now, and down goes a second Venom Crawler, and he explodes! Oh, that's so bad! <laughs> Another explosion! This is going great, but I gotta finish the rest of my attacks first. So the rest of the Custodian Guards are gonna go into the other Venom Crawler. Maybe we'll get a third explosion going on here. Guardian Spheres on twos. So looking on fives, but getting a reroll fails. 10 saves at minus two, each one doing two damage. And I've got three wounds remaining, Nick. Down goes the third Venom Crawler. Three explosions. Oh, no. that's all one. That explosion has killed a custodian and the warpsmith. He does kill two vigilators, but Vastor takes some wounds and the Forge Fiend takes damage. Man, that really sucked. That tempting addendum was super strong and we saw how powerful it was, but huddling up around the warpsmith with everything exploding, I called it, folks. That was really unfortunate. That's the end of my Warpsmith. No more crazy reroll shenanigans for me. My balling up strategy, while it did big damage to Nick, has also done huge damage to me. This is the risk and reward of the Soul Forged War Pack. I'm not done fighting yet. Can we take down the 19 Wound Lord of Skulls? The Dreadnought comes in with his War Blade. He's gonna choose the Lethal Hits. Guitar. A boom. Oh, look at all those ones! Two wounds at minus two. Five up. I make one, take one. Three whole damage brings me down to 16 remaining. These Terminators right here. Nick using Emperor's Executioners as a battle tactic for free. Here he goes into the Lord of Skulls. Let's go with the Shield Captain first, because he's fun, he's a hero. So I'm gonna go with sustained hits for my Kata. So hitting on twos. Seven wounds in the Lord of Skulls from the Captain. He's at 10. The rest of the squad, not so much. So I take another six damage. I'm down to four wounds remaining. Almost gotcha. You do get to fight back with him, though. I have just enough wounds left to Dark Pact. <laughs> <laughs> Calling upon the Dark Gods. Seven, I'm OK. Oh, wow. Lord of Skulls does 14 wounds. Two dead Terminators. Just the captain left. Each enemy unit within six inches has to take a battle shock test. Oh, that's fun. So battle shock tests for both of these units here. Dreadnought passes. Captain passes. Great turn two for Nick. He scored six points on Bring It Down to take him to nine. Four more points on Storm Hostile Objective to take him eight. That gives him 17 secondary and 10 primary. He's in the lead at the end of turn two, 27 to 25. I don't know. That Lord of Skulls is still on the table and Tycho still has a fair amount of units. Nick is running out. This is close. Tempting target and engage at all fronts for Tycho this turn. The Rhino held objective is the tempting target Nick's choosing. Time for Battle Shock, and the Lord of Skulls has failed his Battle Shock test, and that's massive. That's five points on primary. Tycho will only score five points on primary to take him up to 30 to Nick's 27. I am hemmed in in my deployment zone. I don't like this. I like being aggressive. The cultists have disembarked the Land Raider. 
Legionnaires move up to get some shots. Vastor moving out to the midboard now. Tycho is really hammed in here. It was a great play to take advantage of the Warpsmith's tempting addendum. However, now he's got to break his way out of the battle line that Nick has surrounded him with. So let's start there. He's going to Dark Pact, because why not? Lord of Skulls is choosing sustained hits on his Dark Pact, shooting the Custodian's mid-table and the Dreadnought that's in his face. Oh, there's a dead Custody. All right, Vashtar, time to flame cannon yourself, these guys. Vashtar's Claw, which shoots flames. Four hits, needing five squeeze. So one wound. So one damage. So I've got two wounds remaining on that Custodian God. I think it's the Forge Fiend time. Dark Pact. He loves it. I'm gonna go Devastating Wounds, which means these all hazards. Hades Auto Cannons. Fire. Oh wow, down go the center Custodians. It's just Trajan left. The Forge Fiend Hazardous Check is okay. Land Raider down the Trajan. Here comes his Dark Pact. Seven, he's okay. And Soul Shatter Last Cannons. Oh man, I needed my rerolls. Only one hit. He says. It wounds. Four up and vulnerable save. Hooah! Pink. The Bolter. That is three hits on with the sustain. They're looking for fives. Rerolling. I get one wound. Oh, that's it. But I get a Storm Bolter. That fails. And I get a Havoc launch. It misses. Cultus, and they're going to open up at your sisters right here. Auto pistol. Hitting on fours. I should have dark packed it because those are a lot of sixes. Six hits. For fours. Two wounds. No marks. On three ups. I see them both. Two legionnaires out here with pistols. They're going to fire your sisters. Both hit. Both wound. Same both. To the charge phase. We're going to charge cultists into your five. rhino. You get five. That's a nine, in they come. Cultists have secured the tempting target in the charge phase here. The Legionnaires charge into the sisters. Arr. Vastor charges Trajan and he's in. Start of the fight phase, Nick using Trajan's moment shackle. He's gonna give him a two up and vulnerable save for the rest of this phase. Nick using Emperor's Executioners again on the Alaris Captain, as well as Oramite and Adamantine to reduce incoming damage to one. That's huge. You know what, let's do the big fight. Yeah? So Vashtor is gonna Dark Pact and try and squish Trajan with his big hammer. Oh, he's got a big Dark Pact. I do flat three damage. Oh, wow. And I have devastating wounds on my hammer. Sustained hits on sixes. Vashtor, found him here. Oh! Vastor now hits eight times. Tycho going for the reroll to wound, hunting those devastating wounds. So five saves, a single one kills Trajan. I'm gonna roll it one at a time for Travis' sake, because we all love that. First one, saves. Second one, saves. Third one, oh, it's a one. Command reroll down to zero command points. I'm gonna take a different dice. Ah! It's a two. I still got two saves left to make. Ah! Oh, it's another one! Oh, it's so close! Cultists, pile in. <laughs> they will dark pact, because why not? Hey, make it on a nine. I'm going to be lethal. No, I did one wound. The rhino takes a few wounds. All right, Lord, let's kill some sisters. The vigilators have gone down. The captain is going to go for it. Go for all the glory all right. and steal the glory from the dreadnought. Hit them all. I should have saved it for I would have done sustain because he's hitting on fours. So you might as well. Right. Kata gives me sustain. That gives me two more hits. This might do it now. Wounding on fours. Only two. You need to fail both. Oh, it's a nail oh, biter, no. folks. It's a big oh, nail no. biter. Ah! You're going to save it both. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh, oh down God. goes the Lord of Skulls. Oh, wow. The Lord of Skulls is dead, but just. Tycho has scored tempting target has discarded Engage in All Fronts for command points to go up to 35. However, Nick has scored five points on Bring It Down for killing that Lord of Skulls, takes his Bring It Down total to 14, and his overall game score to 32. 
start of next turn three now. I got a battle shock test to make on the uh, Dreadnought. He is battle shocked. And he gains 10 points primary to go up to 42. One command point to Tycho's two. Then the Rhino automatically heals one wound, going up to eight. Well, I've only got really one thing to do this turn, and that's try to kill Vastor. I've got a big tank. He, it's a big target in front of me. I think I've got this. The Achilles Dreadnought moves into the midboard. Caladius looking to get shots on Vastor. Not a lot of other movement. He's got to leave that Terminator Captain on that objective to keep scoring primary. Shooting phase, everything into Vastor. Shooting phase now. Oh, there's a clutch command reroll from Tycho. That keeps Vastor alive. I don't have it. Failed. Five damage down to five. I'm still alive. That was disappointing. I should have killed you there. The Rhino is trying to shoot the cultists off of its hull. Kill one. And then we go to the charge phase. I have no charges. I get the first ongoing combat. I'm going to go tickle your tank. Cultists smack the Rhino, but that's about it. Wow, these cultists are doing great. Five oh. wounds remaining on the Rhino. The Rhino tries to hit you back. It hits you twice and wounds you once. Kills another. No extra points for Nick that turn. It's 42-35 at the end of turn three, and both players have a command point remaining. I think I'm still in this, but this is a nail biter. Every little bit counts. Tycho's turn four now, spending one command point on insane bravery. That's gonna guarantee 15 points on primary for Tycho, but he is down to one command point. Tycho's drawn deploy homers and capture enemy outposts. He could potentially do it. I need to capture the enemy outpost, which might take Vashtor away from his target of killing tanks. I'm gonna stick this objective over here. It's desperate measures time for Nick for sure. He's overwatching with the Gladius, but fails to down Vashtor. Only one command point left. Start doing some action because they are gonna deploy a teleport homer. Cultists fall back so the Forge Fiend and Land Raider have targets. That is it for the movement. We're gonna start the shooting phase. So this tank is gonna open up on your tank with all guns. Land Raider Dark Pack fails, it takes three mortals, but sustained hits. Go, go, go! Oh, it barely scratches the paint of the Caladius. Three hole damage. Forge Fiend. I'm gonna try and take out your Rhino. Forge Fiend choosing lethal hits, down goes the Rhino. Vashtor! Oh, the Dreadnought gets roasted by Vashtor. One damage. Down at you. Charge phase now, Vashtor re-rolling his charge. Oh, another Dark Pack failed. And he's tiered himself and is gonna be minus one to hit. Using the sweeping attacks, not enough. I still have two left, which means I hold the objective! OC two each. But he's short by one, one OC to take that objective. Custodies! <laughs> Vashtor has failed. Oh! Hurt himself with the Dark Pact and cost himself six hits. Prosecutors, fight you back. I hit you three times and I, I wounded you once. No AP. Okay. Tycho's managed to deploy homers to take his secondary point total to 23. He's keeping capture and outpost. Not a bad play as it is worth eight. It's 53-42 at the end of Tycho's turn four. So we go to my turn. All players gain a command point, Nick to two, Tycho to one. Nick gains 10 points on primary to go up to 52. He's one point behind Tycho. This is the only way I could score points here. The Dreadnought gets overwatched by the Land Raider. This is clutch. There's a sustained hit. Oh boy, he's got one wound left. I gotta kill Vastor, and I gotta take that object away from you. The Prosecutors fall back, and Nick's using Hunt as one for one command point. They're gonna be able to fall back, shoot, and charge. I might as well get bring down points. So let's see if I can kill the Land Raider. As I already have the objective, because I have OC3, so I take the objective. Nick's shooting phase, and the Caladius is trying to down the Land Raider, and it fails. I'll shoot the Boulders and the Cultists. The sisters are gonna shoot as well into Vashtor. Maybe they can do something. Four shots. And becomes 
Nothing. Charge phase. This is a big, big charge phase now. The Dreadnought charges Vashtor. Nick spends a command point to tank shock him, and Vastor goes down. Oh no! Three more points on Bring It Down for Nick. Four points on Storm Hostile for Nick. Sees him jump up to 59 points to Tycho's 53 at the end of turn four. Neither player has a command point. Tycho still has capture enemy outposts in hand. This is big. Tycho needs to pass all of these battle shocks to have any hope here of holding on. He does, successful. This is a clutch turn for sure. 10 points primary, 63 to 59. He's got to kick Nick off of an objective. He's got to score his area denial. He needs to score these points or Nick can win the game just by holding. Which takes the objective away from me, I believe. Looks like the cultists are going to need a 10 on dice to reach Nick's home objective come the charge phase. And they're OC2 each. Barely any have to survive in order for him to hold it. Shooting phase. And oh no, another dark pack failure. The Land Raider is tiered and minus one to hits. He still manages five hits. Holy crap, 16 wounds. He gone. Ooh, 16 wounds, he gone. There's only one thing left. Charging of the cultists. They need to make the longest of bombs. No. All they gotta do is make a 10. I've even got a command point to reroll. All right, so I need a 10. I gotta reroll. Tygo has a command point, and if he makes this charge, he could almost seal this deal. Okay, I need a 10. Basically for the whole game, here we go, cultists, go. Nick, save me. That's a three. That's not enough. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it again. That's one command no point for every roll. I want to see this happen. Do it. Go, Nick. Go. It's an eight. Oh, it's an eight. I'm sorry. I'm disappointed too. He fails. Tycho scores five points on area denial. He jumps to 28 points secondary, 40 primary. That is 68 points. Nick can score 10 points at the end of game here. He's moving up the dreadnought to try to secure the deal. Tycho overwashes the Dreadnought and it's dead. However, Nick is still gonna score 10 points on primary. He scores no more secondary points. That takes him with paint to 79 to Tycho's 78, a one point game. Nick wins. What an absolute nail biter of a game, gentlemen. Both navigating new codexes and a one point game in the end, literally. One less explosion, one less save, and that game is wildly different. Oh, I won by one point! Nick, brilliant oh. moves, brilliant moves. You made some awesome plays there. You deserve this win wholeheartedly. <laughs> Chaos Codex seems awesome. It's a wild, yeah. The Custodes Codex is still awesome, and we had a great game, and look, it was within one point. Turns out, Warhammer's awesome. I win by one point! Came close, but I sadly couldn't make that final charge. This is my first victory on 40K and 40M with the Custodes. Brilliant game, fantastic moves. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us. Uh, I had a blast. I hope you did too. Until we see you next time, play on. Special thanks to this episode's sponsor, Deadly Print Studios. All the cool explosion effects we got from them, and we love the added immersion and overall vibe that they add to our games, and we think you will too. Make sure to check out their link in the description below. And of course, the biggest thank you is to you for watching. If you enjoyed this match, please like, subscribe, and share it. Or if you really like what we do, please consider supporting us through YouTube membership or Patreon. You'll get exclusive releases as well as behind the scenes interviews, early access to most of our shows, and access to our Discord, the most happening 40K community around. That's it for us, folks. On behalf of all of us here at Play On, this is your host, JT The Voice, saying, until the next time you see us in the far flung future of a grim dark universe, Play On. Outro music.